Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Battling for position on two wheels, lap after lap at the limit. From the very first second until the checkered flag, rider, bike and tyres are put under extreme strain. In motorbike racing, with no cropple zones, the tyres decide more than just places and are thus very important. First big important point is you have a good feeling and if you have a good feeling if the tyre is cold or if the tyre is warm, then it's perfect. You must have good feedback to, to find the limit for you and for the bike and that's almost the key. In order to give the riders precisely this feeling, the manufacturers do extensive development work and testing. Motorcycle tyres make wholly different demands of the material than tyres on a car. Over 200 horsepower get transferred to the track via a contact patch the size of a coin. Yet, in the process, the tyre constantly changes its position. So, how is this problem solved? Here on this tyre you can see the spread of the different compounds. This here is the hard centre compound. While on the side, the soft race compound gets added. The multi-thread technology uh, is dealing with uh, compromise between uh, grip and uh, thread wear, so our durability. So what uh, the the idea behind is uh, just uh, managing a very stiff uh, compound in the center part of the of the contact uh, contact area, in order to manage uh, the the abrasion level the traction, but also very good stability uh, at high speed uh, when, uh, when braking. In the meantime, when we need uh, more grip at a certain lean angle, the idea was to, uh, to get a, a different thread compound uh, at shoulders at the edge in order to get uh, the grip you can expect applying this lean angle. The right compound in the right place. It looks easy, but calls for high-tech materials, extreme precision and craftsmanship. The individual tire layers get added by hand, as do the side beads. Within the tire are synthetic fibers with precisely selected properties matched to its needs. The belt has enormous tensile strength and reliably transfers the power. The coating with its adhesive qualities is thus by no means all that is high-tech in a motorbike tire, even before it's finished. Added to this comes the fact that front and rear wheel are built up differently. The rear wheel has four layers of high-strength fibers made of materials like aramide or Kevlar. Generally, there's a greater burden on the rear wheel, as when the bike accelerates, it's put under much greater strain. The rear tire has got to guide the bike and transfer the forces of acceleration simultaneously. It's therefore worked much harder. A front wheel's job is to transfer brake power and guide the motorbike through the corners. For these tasks, it therefore has a lighter, narrower design and is more geared to forward stability. The riders reward the manufacturer's efforts with extreme maneuvers and thrilling battles for position to delight the fans. Reliable predictability and trust in the tires allow the riders to push themselves to the limit, lap after lap. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.